So 95 for me still sticks out as a very memorable win. I mean, coming from a lap down, you know, you quite quickly at a place like Bathurst think the day's over and it means so much to yourself and myself and everyone else that puts so much effort in. As the day went on, at what point did you think, hey, we could be back in it? Well, when I, uh, when I saw up on the leaderboard that we got up to second, it was around about lap 140 and I was about 12 seconds behind Glenn Seaton, who had never won at Bathurst, and I was trying as hard as I could, and I weren't making any impression. Over about five laps, it was maintaining the gap of 10 or 12 seconds, and then he suddenly slowed, and I thought, man, like his disappointment was my joy, I can promise you, and uh, I, I had had to been running, I was running the car and the engine myself, and a 10 out of 10 all day long. Every gear change was 7.5, yeah, not 7.4, everything was spot on. And Glenn had been running apparently 7.2 all day because he would break valve springs so he went to 7.5 and the engine failed. So it was a pretty sweet reason why we won in the end because it was all about have every part, yourself, your crew, the engine, your car, everything had to be top notch. And, yeah, so when, they, when he pulled over and then I, re I think it was the last four or five or seven laps that I had no opposition and I think we won by some, you know, not like today where it's only seconds, we, I don't recall, but I'm sure we won by over 10 or 15 seconds. Yeah, it was very impressive and to be honest, I remember that exact moment sitting at home in Mildura. Um, you wouldn't have, you, I'm sure you would have seen the replays, but you wouldn't have seen it at the time. The disappointment in Glenn's face as the engine failed and they pulled the car up the top of the, of the mountain between the two barriers and, and away you went. So it's, the mountain always throws that up, doesn't it? There's, there's great success stories like you had, and then on the other side, there's, there's everyone else that their dreams come crashing down. I keep saying to my co-drivers, and I'll say to your co-driver, you've got to finish before you can win. And it's the number one thing that uh, has to be reinforced, uh, always finish. <laughs>